Hello, my vacuum cleaner chums. How are you today? This is the after video for the SIBO X1. Yes, it's been fully stripped, cleaned, and oh my God, it was filthy, polished. All sift up, get the plastics looking nice. And reassembled with a few new parts. So here it is, it looks a lot different now. It was incredibly grey before. It is now lovely and white. And obviously there are still some signs of use, but it's come out very well for a 20 year old machine. For this was made in 1997 and we're now in 2017. So 20 years old. And it's still working very well indeed. So what have I done to it? Well, not an awful lot. If we look at the cable, which you won't see, I've chopped it back. Remember one of the corners where it goes over the hook had snapped. So I chopped it back and recrimped it. What else is uh, not a great deal else was wrong with it, to be honest. It has just been cleaned. We have a look in here. Oh, hang on. This is all the bags that I'm going to sell with it. I'll just put them inside so I don't forget it. Forget to put them in. I had these bags for years. I got a Hoover Turbo Power Boost from a church in High Wycombe once, and they gave me these two bags and these two boxes of bags. These were two boxes, and I, I, I've got rid of a few. They were insistent it went with this Turbo Power. I told them it didn't, and. Are they sure they wanted to give them to me? And they said, yeah, no, have it. So I did, and I've been kicking them around the shed forevermore. So it's time to get rid of them. I'm going to sell them with this machine. So they can go up there. There is a bag fitted. I, I have just checked it works. And here is the inside of the bag compartment that was utterly filthy. It washed up very nicely. It is awaiting its filter. Not gonna lie there i'll be honest hasn't arrived it's supposed to be arriving today but it hasn't turned up and i really want to get this after video done because i need to sell it so we're going to do this little video with no filter it's not going to kill it it's got a bag it's not terribly dirty on the floor so but yeah that's why it hasn't got its filter fitted and i've also taken the spring off the metal catch so that we can shut the bag door without having a filter in place. I know, terrible isn't it? There we go. If I recline it back you may remember the filter was awful. I think, was it this one or the Blue X4 that it was melted on? Either way, I can't get that out on hand, but you can see it's got a brand new filter in there. And if I can pop off the brush roll end cap one handed because I can't want to put my phone down, you will see. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. A brand new, been used for maybe five seconds brush roll and oh, this is very stiff very long and very non-genuine for well, that is a Qualtex brush roll 11 pounds we'll soon see if it's any good I'm sure it will be so I'll put that back in there pop the cleaned up end cap back on quick flip underneath because it's very clean and tidy under there as well yeah I'm very pleased with the way it's come out, but I haven't actually properly used it yet. I've, I've checked it runs, but I was hoping the filter would come, but it hasn't, and it's now Friday, and if it turns up later on tonight, I'm not going to be able to do the video this weekend, so <sighs> it's time to do it now.
So, it runs very well. I I did oil the motor a little bit, so that sounds better. And it works, but it's this is why I'm not a great fan. You can see, you won't have to come back a bit, I think. You can see it is leaving track marks. And it's just picking all the dirt up, but it's not digging in. And I'd almost say that the new brush roll is digging in worse than the old brush roll. And the, why I think it's doing it is that because the brushes are longer than the old one, it's sensing the slowdown on the carpet. And it's just holding it up just a little bit. I probably won't do it now, but if we were to take the brush roll, unplug the automatic height, and then try it, it would really dig in a bit more. I'm not going to. I think it is working fine. But the longer brush roll is just causing it to sit up a little bit more and not dig in quite as much as it could. I mean, my old SM2, remember that one? That was awesome because it had manual height, so you could knock it right down to a one. And it would pretty much rip the carpet off the backing. But it's not too bad at all. Right, let's have a quick check of the tools. See what the suction is like. Very nice indeed. Let's just vacuum under here because it looks a bit messy. I don't know if you noticed that, but when I went into there the first time, it was down and moved really well. I can feel it biting. Then it just lifted itself up by a millimetre or two. But as you can see, it's actually doing all right. I think it's part of this carpet. I don't think there's anything wrong with that at all. Very chuffed indeed. So there we go. The £10 Cebo Automatic X1. Will hopefully be sold very soon. I'm going to ask £70 for it on Facebook, but I'll be honest, any offer over 55 60 I should probably just accept. Especially since all I spent on it is eleven ninety nine on the brush roll and four ninety nine on the filter. I had that post filter in the shed. I've had those bags in the shed. That is it. So thirty pounds, no not even that, twenty five twenty five quid we'll say for a very nice SIBO X1 and a full rebuild thread as well which will be on soon so I've still got the X4 extra that is in the shed I haven't actually done anything with that yet because I need to I, I need to buy that a service kit I'm hoping that comes up well enough to be able to have genuine SIBO parts so that will be nice to see this is the cheaper one the one that will just have pattern stuff so thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon Bye-bye.